Yeah. That we can. I forgot all about them. I was just not going to bother with them because they're not that bright. But I thought, well, if they're just uh, running lights, why not use them? They're only two pounds something. Only thing is, I'm not keen on that. Don't want to make a haul unnecessarily. And it is unnecessary because uh, you could just stick foam on that. You know, that'll go behind that hollow bit I was saying where the 919 is. That'll go above and below the uh, middle bit, which is going to have these LEDs in. Can't eat them with the helmet on, can I? Yet. Yes, these are my empties from Christmas. That's good. 7.3% McEwen's champion. Brood in Edinburgh, hi. Very nice, very tasty. Proper strong beer. Just got on from work, absolutely knackered. I got a lot at dinner time. I realised I've got loads of squirty cream left from Christmas, so I bought that. I'll try not to eat it all in one do. Uh, yeah. Helping again, it way. <laughs> Jeez, what's going on, eh? Come here. Uh, yes, it's Saturday. Not raining, but I uh, have to get on with my little do it yourself project. Panelling this remaining wall to match these. As I said, it's so labour intensive. Last time I did this, I almost went cuckoo. So <laughs> I left these without this uh, decorative uh, barrel mould beading. I thought, sod it, I've had enough. It's been hidden by the city anyway. <coughs> anyway, I'll get on doing it. First of five programs celebrating the Beatles. These were all on the other day. Yeah, the third they were on because it was George Martin's 90th birthday, so they put a load of Beatles stuff on. And now they're repeating exactly the same stuff. Should I Jack Sky in? <coughs> we'll save. Uh, £30 a bloody month. <coughs> anyway, I thought it was me a bad account, but I uh, want to finish this. <coughs> well, I'll finish the squares today and do all the beading bit by bit during the week. Yes, I've got my ivy up. <laughs> I boarded the ceiling uh, a while ago and I thought it looked a bit bland so I got some ivy strands uh, from eBay and then these bunches <laughs> from eBay, a lot less than they cost in the shop because I do my living room in them. Ages ago, and these are better quality and a lot cheaper.
and they'll just as the sun is setting marvellous well, the demolishing that dump at last the old cinema then it became a grotty club that smelled of damp you know like a working men's club type of thing called the Grand and then it got on fire and the weight all of it are not breaking I wonder what it's going to become probably new DSS flats Well, this is a cold snap that's arrived, it's not too bad today, but it's forecast for the ice and snow, so Might be going to work in a taxi this week, or part of the week Where am I going today? Well, I'm in the middle of my do it yourself and I realise I don't have a bloody silicone gun or a gun to, you know, to squeeze that turf decorator's filler out with, I must have thrown it away last time I think it was getting a bit worn. The cheap and tend to start slipping. So I'm wondering should I go straight to B and Q or have a look around that new B and M bargains. If you have a garden centre, you must have a do-it-yourself section. It is a bit closer, but I thought if I'm wandering around there for 20 minutes. Well, I missed the uh, opportunity of going to be in queue. Might be closed by the time I get there. I don't suppose it's urgent. Like I said, I thought of just doing a little bit every day until uh, the job's finished. I'm annoyed with that stuff for it. It said gloss, and because of the different absorption rates of the wood. The panels are more like the silk finish, you know, whereas the pine has gone glossy. I might just dollop a load of uh, varnish on. I've got half a pot somewhere of varnish. So, it'll get done eventually. I hate winter. It's a pity though, because uh, it's been mild. I mean, the shortest day was just before Christmas, wasn't it? It was 23rd or something. So after that, the weather starts getting better, theoretically. And theoretically, if the other end of Christmas, or the side October, November was very mild, then why can't January and February be mild? You know what I mean? Have a lovely mild winter with no frost and ideally no taxis because it's £8 each way plus I'm forced to go for a pint <laughs> while I wait for the taxi in the pub well not forced to but it's either a 15 minute wait sat outside in the cold or a brisk walk to the pub and then a nice uh, got leg here while I'm waiting <clears throat> anyway we'll see, might not need taxis Sunlight's bright. Look, I've got my homemade uh, visor thing on. I just stick insulation tape on the visor.
Well, if you want to see the lights, I just can record with direct sunlight. It's better. Mm, these lights are out. What's happened? Someone pinching cable. Test me on. Oh, they're attending to it, I see. Oh, yeah, I've been in bargains. Be interesting to see what they're selling in a mega store. They might sell them little brass hooks. I was hoping to get some little brass hooks, but of course, when I want some, my bloody local pound shop have stopped selling them. Marvellous. I get some in as well, I want some now. I used to hang my ivy up in the bathroom. <laughs> Two thousand and sixteen. When will I be retiring? Fourteen years. Yeah, 2030. Come on, you change your mind now, but marvelous. I actually wonder what's going to happen when I retire because that house I bought belonged to my old grandma and as soon as she went in an old fork saw when her legs give up and she kept falling first thing bloody council did as you own your own home you must sell it to pay for your care home bill £395 a week would be scandalous and of course she didn't get that kind of care she was neglected said it's crap food which is always cold that they're not turning the heating on and it said nightly well it said entertainment on a regular basis it said a bloke come once we in accordion and that was it come the wrong way I know should have gone turn right but never mind Smith's Toy Superstores Yeah, and a mate at work was saying he should sell that house and uh, just rent. He said instead of struggling for money. Go on, go on, go on. Instead of struggling for money, he said uh, just sell it and rent to live like a king for five years with 75 grand, which is what houses on our street go for, yeah? I said, mm. He said, because you'll only have to sell it to pay for your care home bill. So I was wondering if I should take a fan. <laughs> should I sell my house? I don't have any pensions lined up. So what are you doing about your old age? Any plans? Old age, 51. Well, let's have a look. <coughs> Straight to the do-it-yourself section. I just thought these were crap stores, but they've got some good stuff in them. Look at these fence panels. Seventeen ninety nine. That's quite sturdy. And if that's just a panel, you have to buy the post separately. Grange fencing. Stable on little planks. <laughs> oh, let's have a look in. Bye for now. Oh, marvellous. What a shop. And everything I wanted in. Gun one ninety nine, and they're doing black silicone for one ninety nine. I paid bloody five ninety nine last weekend from that car shop. It's always handy to have black silicone when you have a bike for budging things up. 
when I had that night talk, it had an oil leak, although I didn't try and boil that up with black silicone, but uh, it had an LCD gear indicator which went down to here, the little uh, unit. And when I bought the bike, it wasn't working. So I sent to, I think it was Nightingale, it specialised in imported bikes, got one for 40 quid. Fitted in, I thought I'll silicone it. So I just squeezed silicone all around and it worked fine. You know, just to stop water getting in because down there everything gets sloshed with water, of course. And then when I traded the bike in, he said he's left a pool of oil on. Now I shot floor, he didn't tell us he'd had an oil leak. I said, I don't think he does. But it was only present when you had the engine going, you know, and when it's under pressure, it did gurgle more oil out from somewhere. So you try to budge it, haven't you, with a black silicone? <laughs> I said, no, the black silicone, it's a waterproof the gear changing unit. Bollocks, you sold me a pig in a barrel, he said. Because <laughs> I traded my night talking for that CB1300 Super 4. You doing, Albert? Let's go this way, it'll be quicker. Yeah, he's died now, that little fella who used to buy bikes off at Fastlane. Oh, this is alright, I've put a looser but padded high V jacket on today because it's a bit nippy. So. What are they doing with uh, the old MFI then? Finish one. <coughs> Want some biscuits, little babies? Oh, hello, baby. Oh, where have I been? Eh, in cold. I'm not using black silicone for in there. I've got some proper filler. I might use no more nails. Look at the difference in carpet. It was that lovely shade of blue originally, and it's turned to that a shitty grey. It said guarantee for colour fastness for five years, but 
Also got it from Carpet World, it's closed down now. Marvellous isn't it? Although that was about seven years ago. Oh Scruffy, have you made a mess again? That Scruffy is strange, no tea so he just slops food all over. Oh baby. Yeah, you know, my favourite streamies. Right, a cup of tea and get on with me. Do it yourself. Hi, Blackie. That's a little snack for later. Give me Rudolph cup. <laughs> I thought my tangs were a bit squishy, so I tested them and uh, it was 30. So it was down slowly, but nothing you should notice really on how it's on the road. Hi for now. 